morning everyone welcome back to the channel hope that you're having a beautiful day it is currently 11 19 a.m on a beautiful saturday morning and i hope that you guys are having a good time thank you for taking a seat in here with me relaxing we're gonna go ahead and listen to some music obviously or <laughs> like dub like really i don't know why i said that uh we're gonna listen to iq we have listened to iq a long time ago but now we are going to listen to their epic 24 minute track harvest of souls this is off of their 20 not 20 i'm used to saying 20 2004 album dark matter uh we are going to get into this this track has been recommended to me by yes head uh let's see John Anderson 90125. I'm assuming that's probably not the real John Anderson, but 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 you never know. Uh, <laughs> you never know. Uh, Gaia Eternal, i.e. Dave from across the ocean. Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, Stephen or Stefan Velenu. Uh, Own Wales. The the list just goes on quite a bit. Egg, I see you there. Uh, Schuler Southwell, I believe that you recommended this track as well. It it, it just goes on. It, it keeps going on. PG. Ben Richardson. So all of you guys, thank you so much for the recommendation. I am excited to go ahead and get into this album, or listen to this track, I should say. Let's see what we think. Let's go ahead and take our, our journey through the dark matter, uh, harvest some souls. Let's go. Well, I guess I should, put my, I should put my headphones on first. Otherwise, it's going to be a really boring reaction from me. Let's go. Did I press it? I didn't press it. Let's go. Uh, the internet, it's every, every, it's like my curse. It's like my monkey's paw. I got great internet, but oh, there it is. first few minutes for the track. Let it build up, let it settle, get you in. those little flashes of, of synth coming through behind the guitar. Sounds good. Just little flashes. I wasn't alone with blood
This is a good intro. Very calmly building itself up. You know it's gonna get down, but I like this approach. nice so far this is this is chill I, I'm waiting for that moment you know but it's good so idealistic before. Now it's just completely shredding that idea, throwing it away. I like that. This kind of reminds me of, uh, yes. A little bit. A little sneaky Mellotron.
I like this very anthemic guitar line. Kind of goes with the lyrics a little bit. And those synths in the back are so light, just barely floating in the air. Strange, huh? <laughs> that way that came in. They're going back and forth between like the two time signatures. I just can't catch it because so, it's so fast. Is it 5 8?
Sneaking up back there. Okay. Some some deep squams. This is that same guitar line from before that I said was anthemic, but it sounds dark and twisted and beat up now. Can't fool me. <laughs> I hear you. That's a great idea. their apocalypse in 9-8. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I don't think it's nice one. those machine gun shots in the beginning, it's been slowly in this, this journey of decay.
drums, Justin. Follow the drums. We get about 20 more seconds of, of fading out. I'm assuming that the last 10 seconds, 15 seconds are probably silence. I'm going to I'm gonna start talking, and if anything pops up, I'll shut up and I'll listen, but I highly doubt anything is coming back in the last few seconds. Woo! Okay, first of all, let's state the obvious, that this is a 24 minute and 29 second track. There's nothing coming. Okay, it's a 29 minute, 24 minute, 29 second track. I always say if a track is going to be that long, you have to warrant it. It has to mean something. And I think that IQ did a great job in actually making those 24 minutes count. Because, can I tell you, at no point did the music feel rushed. And at no point did, for me, this is obviously all personal opinion, and at no point did it drag for me. It was actually, to me, the perfect amount of time for the band to do their thing, 
make their statement, make their music, and then they out. <laughs> like this was a perfect timed 24 minute track. The the song itself was also really, really good. It took me a little bit to warm up to the vocals, but I did eventually warm up to that and I did enjoy it. Uh, that's going to be Peter Nichols on the lead and backing vocals. I think that he did a great job. He sounds really good, especially in those ending sections. Um, not that I have a lot of IQ in my mind to compare, you know, like, like the band, not like mental fortitude. Anyways, um, but the guitar, let's, let's actually kind of talk about everybody, you know, a little bit. Mike Holmes on the guitar, just wonderful display of, of composition, melody, brevity, even the solos, nothing in here felt, like I said, out of time in any way. The solos were powerful. One thing I really enjoyed, and I, I mentioned this during the track, but in case you missed it, I really love the, the structure of this song because it starts off very quaint, very cute, acoustic, and so slowly, so slowly, it begins to build itself up. First, you have uh, some extra effects on the guitar, probably just layered on top of that. Uh, then you have the atmospheric keys coming in. The keys are gonna be played by Martin Orford, who, who, whose contribution I really enjoyed throughout this whole piece, because he's adding a lot of depth and atmosphere without really going into like, for example, I'm just putting this out there, a, a rude s like movement where you got to add all these other random things that take away from the music. No, the, the mood is perfectly stated and and organically built from the ground forward. And I just really enjoy that. And a lot of that is due to his keyboard, synth work, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so I really like that one moment where we get kind of an anthemic guitar line that comes sweeping in. It's like, oh, that sounds really good. It's very proud. And then later on, after a lot of stuff happens, Later on, we get that same guitar line, but it doesn't sound as melodic. It sounds a little, a little dirtier, a, a little like more distressed. I just really like the way that they bring those, those, those moments back. It calls back, of course, to the moment, but also dignates, dignifies. Dig, maybe that's the word I want to use. It also shows and displays a, a change that's happened thematically, which we got to dig into, but obviously musically. Uh, as they, those two moments happen many, many moments apart from each other. That's fantastic. Uh, drumming, Paul Cook, bass, John Jowett. This was wonderful. This was really, really good to listen to. I really enjoyed that. I'm really curious to get into these lyrics and get into the themes because I, I I have an idea, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right or close or not. Uh, but needless to say, I think that this was a very, very enjoyable track. So thank you guys for the recommendation and listening to this because it, it has some moments in there. And I kind of mentioned this, but what I like is that it also doesn't go off into some random roads that a lot of other prog songs will do. So especially with a length like this, it stays firmly stated. It's very well composed and well written. So first of all, this track is broken up into, let's see, six different parts. First of the last, the wrong host, Nocturne, Frame and Form, Mortal Procession, which is when it gets heavy in this time. Mm. Uh, crunchy, the organ, by the way. Mm. And then the ending, Ghost of Days, well, which was a nice fade out for this epic track. And of course, this is the last track on the album as well. Uh, let's get into these lyrics. I'm not going to read every single lyric because there's a lot of them, but, you know, we'll read as much as we can and infer from what we, uh, from what we read. So... Long before the living past had ripped it all, the, all apart, something still remained until it flashed back to the start. Where it stands, nobody saw behind the blackest eyes. Little porcupine tree. Show them how you're stronger now. It pays to advertise wisely. Day after day, with you in my head, I said some things I shouldn't have said. For reasons unknown, now I forget. I gave you no love, which I now regret. I don't know what's happening at this point, but it seems like a very beginning of the universe kind of moment. I don't know if these are two gods talking to each other to deeters or whatever deeters deities <laughs> but uh i now forget i gave you no love which i now regret so there's already some feeling involved what i'd like or what i'd give to hear again those everlasting songs why did all the accidents contrive to fall at once so something happened uh only day after day with you and my thoughts i never knew time was so short for once in my life i wasn't alone with blood on my hands how could i have known Used to be the great white hope once I walked on water. Now I barely stay afloat, balance out of order. So obviously something has gone wrong in this perfect world. I don't, I'm kind of getting the idea of this is like, I really don't have an idea. <laughs> to be honest, at this moment, we may parse it out as we go. 
but like the creation of the world perhaps and things going wrong something like that moving into the wrong host though this is where my idea kind of changes a little bit the sky lights up above america the world is lost but loves america when the eyes of children see the ones left standing and the rest begin to finally understand the hand of god defends america and who would not defend america we've got light on our side we're in pole position so praise the lord and raise the ammunition high what an american line <laughs> and i'm american I, uh, that's that's funny <clears throat> excuse me i'm talking too fast so the, the lyrics kind of change from what I perceived as something supernatural and, and symbolic into now talking about America. And the lyrics are very like patriotic and like almost blindly patriotic, which this is what I was thinking before. And I don't know if this is where the track is going to go lyrically. It made me think of a an idealistic view of a country. Here it's America, but it could of course be applied to anything. An idealistic view of a certain place that perhaps seems like the dream place then you get there then you live it and it's like oh this is not what i expected and i feel like you know from what i could read of the lyrics it feels like it's a deconstruction of that dream of that idealistic wonder and then here's where the music changes hide where you can we will shoot you where you stand that's a quick awakening and quick difference from what was being read before and then moving on to the next part nocturne I'm brought to life with a series of shocks. I realize that you are gone from my life, and I still cling to the fear of the dark. Don't follow them, for they don't care how you are. So something's happened, assumedly, possibly, to our character, to our viewpoint, and they wake you up with a series of shocks. They don't really care, in a sense. And I'm finding a way of being, accepting life all alone, and I'm hoping I'll wake up seeing a way to live on my own. Frame and form is another part. Mine is a real fine line. I get harder the higher I climb. Shine like a star so bright anybody can see any time. No one will want to follow. This will be gone tomorrow. We enter an age of permanent doubt where we communicate without words. So could this be talking about a move into modern times or at the time, 2004, when this was released, a modern time? Before the lyrics described the fear of being in the dark, the fear of being alone. Now talking about like climbing perhaps a corporate ladder perhaps a, a symbolic ladder in life and now shining like a star so bright anybody can see me now so achieving that dream of being seen away from that fear of the dark lately i've been talking to myself been remembering and doing little else the road ahead is anything but clear last time around where did we go from here so we're perhaps a bit of a, a circular motion then mortal procession is the next part what about some golden hours i was alive certainly you were wrong anyone can be persuaded given the time we all scream alone so we're all internally suffering in some capacity what about this good for nothing season again everything's come and gone and i can't believe that i'm not watching you i'm in a sorry state in the days when love divided up the looks no drastic means were used like rod and hooks to enhance what nature's sculptor had designed so I imagine plastic surgery. No augmentation needed to refine. In the valley of the dollar, we enjoy, we rejoice. For plastic is the currency of choice. Okay, there you go. Yeah, definitely plastic surgery, trying to make yourself look a certain way, which kind of calls back to the, you know, I want to be a star seen by everywhere, no matter where, where you are. Um, and beauty born is strictly for the birds. Your cash is fine, but credit is preferred. Do I still qualify? Suspended from on high. No other sanctuary have I. So the only shelter that this person is finding is basically within themselves. And it doesn't feel like it should be that way. And then the last section entitled Ghost of Days. And when the eyes of children see past the ones left standing, and the time has surely come to understand who we are, slowly the fires are burning, bearing their silent witness, and the living past returns to reap the harvest of souls. So... I don't know what exactly is happening, but something from the past comes to basically collect that tax. Perhaps all the things that you you sold yourself for in becoming a star, in you know climbing that that ladder, all those choices you made in a sense have a karmic effect and are going to come back and bite you in the hiney, <laughs> in a sense, and that will be that that particular harvest. How in the ballpark am I though? Like. How am I am I infield 
Or am I still in the stands? I have no idea. I don't know. But I like the song. <laughs> I like the song, so that, that, you know, that's it. But let me know what you guys thought of it. Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for the recommendation as well. Hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, why haven't you pressed the like button yet? There's, there's no reason for you not to press it. It helps me. That's it. It helps me. Uh, you can also um, uh, support the channel on Patreon if you'd like to do that for as little as $2 a month. Um, come back tomorrow. You never know what we're doing, but it'll probably be something good. So I hope that you come back then, and otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.